Coach Tyler Show. Hi, hi there. Welcome, welcome to another episode of the Coach Kyo Show. Um, I'm your host, Kyo Day McKinnon. And as we oftentimes start the show, uh, we like to um, give honor to the source of life and truly understand that greater is he that, it's, that is in us um, than he that is in the world. Uh, remember this show if you're now joining us. Um, see, Sony is here already. Uh, bless good night. Remember, for some people, it's good night, and some people, it's hello. Uh, it means the same thing. Good night don't mean goodbye for some people. Uh, remember this show, we talk all things soccer. If you're, if you're now joining us, um, but the, mo the most important objective here is for us to inspire and to impact our young people um, so that they so that they live out their purpose um, more so now you um, know all, with all the uncertainties and, and mental health issues and the challenges um, that young people have to deal with with social media and and the trends um, it, it's it's hard it's hard to keep up with so you truly have to understand purpose to, to have an identity um, to know who you are to know what is it you need to be doing and we use this you know we use this platform um, to try to influence and to impact and their lives so that they don't need to be common just like this show is uncommon um it, it's not scripted um you know it, it's about authenticity. It's about what you deal with on a daily basis. When 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 you're dealing with reality and you're dealing with life on a daily basis, then you don't need a script. Um, you just need you just need to provoke um, conversations that will lead to better solution. That will lead um, to opportunities that people could truly live out their lives. So. Hopefully, at the ending of this show, um, parents, players, coaches, guardians, um, aunts, uncles, um, supporters will be much more equipped in terms of how they utilize their resources, what those, what the resources actually mean, um, and and don't, for a better word, go crazy. Um, when things are not going exactly how you plan it out in your head, especially if you're not the player. And if you are the player, uh, you must understand uh, what is it you're investing in. So we want to talk about money don't buy development. Money only provide you with an opportunity. But before we go into that, just a quick interruption to tell you about mer about our merch um, and how um, it helps you with all your training needs if um, if you would like to support uh, our movement. We'll be right back. Coyote McKinnon and company are ready to dress you in one of their most stylish, comfortable and attractive athletic gears this fall for you to achieve that desired athletic goal. Check out their online store today for your joggers, tank tops, bras, backpacks, sweatshirts and everything else you'll need to complete that look. It's Coyote McKinnon and company. We care.
Welcome back. Welcome back to the Coach Kayo Show. Um, Kayo Day here. Hopefully, you are sharing this live. Hopefully, you are uh, inviting your friends to listen with you. You're inviting your parents to listen with you. And if you haven't done so yet, please subscribe to our channel, Coyote McKinnon and Co. Really appreciate it so we can continue to um, reach more young people. Remember the show, we want to be, um, we want to be interactive. We want to, uh, we want to, we, we will, we would like you to share your comments. We want you to ask your questions, um, uh, share uh, from your perspective. Um, Cause like I said, this is the impact our young people is to inspire them to live out their best life. We, we know what is going on in, in, within society today. Um, you know, a lot of times people say, say if you're born after a certain time, it's different. They can't put their hands on it yet. It's different in terms of the responsibility, the accountability, the respect, um, the dedication, the determination, all of these things that um, the older generation uh, can truly embrace and, and truly connect with in terms of where they are now and how they were able to overcome certain things. We, we're not necessarily seeing that with our young people. They are taking their lives. They are turning to drugs. They are turning um, to, to many things for happiness, for joy. And we need, to, we need to get them back on this purpose train. We need to get them back um, to a place where they're living uh, a life um, that is that is healthy, that is productive, um, that you can actually be proud of without having pride. Maybe you'll get that um, some other time, but it's more important uh, for you to be proud rather than having pride. So joining me to discuss, um, you know, money don't buy development. Uh, it only provides the opportunity, the wingman, um, a wall, a med, um, Come in, sir. Yes. So we have a we have a, a very important topic here because we know as oftentimes the elephant in the room, you know, when people talk about when people talk about soccer, when they talk about um, wanting to be a part of, of, of any community, being ours or, or or any other soccer community, the first thing is always the price. Um, you know. But before, um, how are things on your end? Uh, how are things in the land of soccer um, going for you? Um, it's, it's it's not easy, Kyle. It's not easy. But like we often are you, say, are you muted? Uh, are you no, muted? No, no, no. Should be should be good. I can't. Can I, you hear I me? Can't hear you. If anyone can, if anyone can okay. hear, so let me wall, let me go out. Um, I can't, I can't hear you, so I will. Um, we will sort that out. Go ahead. Yeah, but can you hear me now, Coach? Um. I can hear you a bit, yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead. Okay. Uh, okay. I said it's not. Uh, I said it's not easy. It's not easy, especially when when money is the the forefront of everything. You know what I mean? There's a there's a preconception of as soon as you talk about oh development, the first thing anybody or precisely the parents ask you is how much it costs. So I believe they they perceive is that's what development is, is yeah. the cost and the price of each athlete. Yeah. Um, it, it's, it's, it's crazy because, um, you, you did, they, they talk about money and development in the same, in the same light, because when somebody, uh, make an investment in their child, uh, when it relates to soccer, uh, they talk about we're not seeing development. And, and hopefully at the end of the show, they will truly understand 
what development is uh, not necessarily what they think it is um, and like i said we we would really love if you out there listening uh, would share your thoughts um, you will ask questions uh, to provoke uh, a high level of discussion so that at the ending of it you know our young people win because we see we we see what is happening a lot of times people say they want the kids to be in soccer because they want to have fun but we know that is not true that is not true uh, because fun is about clarity when somebody says they want to have fun and they're actually saying they want clarity they want to know that whatever they're doing, they're succeeding, they are enjoying themselves through the learning process. Nobody has fun when they're not learning, when they're not getting better, when their minds, when their brain um, is not stimulated in a way uh, that encourage consistency in whatever they're doing. So this notion of, um, I just want my child to have fun. It's just a perception that have no no real definition behind it, with no true clarity. And but you, if you look hard enough, you really um, see what they're trying to say. They want their child to have fun, mm -hmm. um, but what they're saying, they want their child to be good, and that that that's what it's supposed to mean, fun. Exactly uh, should be clarity, but I don't think they truly understand what fun is. Fun for them is picking up grass while you're training, do whatever you mm -hmm. want, um, come mm -hmm. whenever you want, uh, have access to everything that you so desire, if even if it have nothing to do with the with the game of soccer. But I can't tell you enough of all um, how money have have not just ruined the game. And still ruining the game, but how more importantly, how it ruined lives, um, young people lives, money, the, the being making money the most important thing. And it's not, it's not now that this is happening. Um, everything that is happening now happened before. You look as it, at historical facts biblically or whatever you remember the story of the man with the five talents is actually money they were talking about and that's why the love of money exactly. um, is the root of all evil because while money answers all things um, you need money so that you can you can provide basic needs and and and, and such like uh, but the love of money um, and you see it with the man with the five talents and the one with the one talent, he was so covetous that he felt keeping this one, this keeping what he had would make him prosperous. And he lost it all. And then you could go down and you look at Ananias and Sapphira when they feel like they could have been deceitful. They wanted to keep back some for themselves. And they both That's die. We know that story. So, you know, people don't realize that, you know, when you make things, um, when you make money such when you glorify it and it's 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 the representation of your possessions and and what life will mean it, you know you begin to refuse uh, what you actually can get out of the money you okay. actually can get what you supposed to get from having the resources how many people limit their own opportunities because they're not truly maximizing um, their resources? You know, how many stories you would have heard in terms of you, you have an athlete and, and they're super talented and um, if supported in the right way, um, in a strategic way, how much they can live out their aspirations and their dreams, but they see you five, six years after and you don't even recognize them. <laughs> you know, talk, 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 talk to the people about that. I think you need to unmute yourself or 
You got it, Coach? Yeah, go ahead. Okay, perfect. Um, I believe, I have, like I said, I have multiple stories, but one, one in particular with uh, an athlete that, you know, I had some time with for a very long time. And money was always the issue, even from the beginning. Even though that I know his parents know how talented the, the athlete is, and I, I know how talented the athlete is, money was always the issue. It's always kind of like, um, there's, there's a story that goes behind. Um, you know, we really don't got it right now. Like you said, you never know nobody's position, right? But when you yeah. know, you know, you know, like, okay, I hear what you're saying, but that's not the truth. Like, yeah, you don't really got it. You know, this is the situation. And then the kid would come to you like, Hey coach, I really want to do this. But you know, my parents say they don't really, they really don't, don't have it right now. But then you'll see a week later or two weeks, they're going to Bahamas. They're going to Cancun. They're going to Las Vegas. And then I'm like, okay, you, you say you want to play, but you have resources to go on vacation. You have resources to go on vacation. Yeah. It's, <laughs> it's, it's bigger than that too. Like they will tell you that. And then they go play in, in a team um, for three, four years. And we know what, yes. we know what the cost is. Um, but like I said, um, it, it, they believe that money can buy them development. What they don't understand, mm -hmm. um, development is the result. When you talk about development, you're talking about a result. There's no result without the process. So exactly. what you're actually paying for um, is a process. So I'll, I'll go that again. Uh, for for you who now coming in, we're talking all things. This is a show that talk all things soccer. Andrea, good night. Good to see you here. Please share the life. We're talking about all things soccer. Excuse me, but specifically we're speaking about money cannot buy development because development is a result. It's the ending of something. If you and especially if your child um, wants to develop. You cannot pay and expect development. You are paying for the process. And, and it's, it, I know it sounds very simple, but it's not that simple because people use it so loosely when they, when they come and after three weeks or so, they all right, we, you know, we, we're not seeing no development. They, they, what they're saying is we're not seeing no results. What is the result, mom? What is the result, sir? What do you expect your nine-year-old to be? Messy? Because that's what you're actually saying. You, you're saying you want results. Or the parents on the flip side who comes and after three weeks, they're saying, oh, I'm seeing changes already. What fallacy? Um, and you see people shrug, they put their chest up in the air and, oh, I'm doing a fantastic job because the parent says after two weeks or three weeks or even a month after training, we have seen magnificent changes. What changes can you see? What changes can you really see? They're talking about results and money. Um, money, they're talking about results because they're speaking. When they say development, they're talking about result and not the process. The money that you pay, it buys you the process. What is that process? If I can, you know, from, from a KMSA standpoint, we firmly believe in this concept of the process when it relates to soccer is first information. You are paying for information. Some of you, um, whatever information you, you've gotten, I don't know, <laughs> I don't know what information is, but we'll, we'll we'll dive into that a bit. But just start wrapping this around your head. You're not paying for results. If you are paying for results, you will continue to look for it where you cannot find it. You are paying for a process. The process starts with information 
and it moves to knowledge. So you move from information to knowledge before you can get to actions. So when you show up at a club or you show up to a program or you show up to a coach and you speak about development and not allowing the child to develop, you're talking about a result. Or I am. I want to see development. You're saying you want to see results. You know, some people be like, "Whoa, well, well, you're just playing with words." No, because I'm not playing with words. Because the actions, when it relates to the process, becomes well. I don't think I should be investing in that. That means you are refusing the process. And you immediately want the results. So what are you teaching your kids that the instant gratification is number one, is the number one priority? And when when you when they don't get to what they where they think they should be or what they actually desire, then they believe that life has no meaning. Thus we have players and young people um, suffering from mental health. We have them uh, looking on social media uh, to uh, to dictate or to define who they are and how important they are rather than allowing um, themselves to grow and to, to find their identity, to get to know who they are and what is it they're supposed to be doing. But... But coach, did I mention to you um, the importance of pro insulation? Boy, listen, if you didn't hear about pro insulation, your family needs them. Now is a good time to find out who they are. Now is the time to keep your family warm with quality insulation for your home from Pro Insulation Company. At Pro Insulation, we solve all your residential and commercial insulation needs. Attics, crawl spaces, walls and ceilings, new and existing homes, and we offer traditional insulation and spray foam. Call Pro Insulation Company today for your free in-home estimate for all your insulation needs. Leave it to the pros and call Pro Insulation Company in Plainfield today. Welcome back. Check them out. Check them out, Coach Kair Awal Ahmed, along alongside me. We're talking about money done by development. It only provides the opportunity. It provides the opportunity. It provides um, the process. Um, this is a big issue, Awal, in terms of, you know, how many times, like, You've heard after three months or four months of training, because most most teams uh, go by three months semester because how the leagues are run and stuff like that. And after three months, you know, we are um, evaluating kids. Um, uh, don't not not really sure the standards we evaluating them by, but uh, the evaluation good or bad um, holds no um, holds no power really because uh, you you have to start talking about the process after two year two years span because you have to rewire the whole brain you have to you have to rewire you you have to change behaviors you you have to um, change what uh, seem to be norms that not ne don't necessarily connect or is congruent with the developmental process um, with with how a child how a child develop based on the ages and stages but you you see this this hunger I call it pride um, to see something that will that will never happen within the timeline. Um, that you want it to happen. And after three months or so, uh, players are jumping ship, looking for development, looking for results. Um, what is wrong? What is wrong with our, our soccer community and, 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 and this process? 
there's there's a lot <laughs> there's a lot that's wrong with that process. Like I said, we always go with my experience. Um, the perception is big, especially where we are, and we know that money is the big factor. But with with the culture that we are in America, um, results is everything. Even at that young age, people see that results is everything. So if we're not, I'm gonna say quote unquote winning, if the kid is not winning these tournaments, if they're not winning these leagues, that means there's no development in their eyes because they don't know what development is. So in their eyes, there's no development because every time we're losing, we're losing games every day. We're losing tournaments every day. So let me just go to the next team. Let me look for the team that's winning. And I know that they must be developing because the kids are winning. And if money's a factor, like you said, if if the team is winning, they're, they're going to spend the money or they might not spend the money. <laughs> but it was like if the team is getting results, that's where they want to be. Yeah, so they so they literally call in is exactly yeah. that's what they're paying for, which which is destroying the game. That's why the churn rate is so high within soccer. Because people believe they are paying for results. They are they 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 they, they, they use a fancy word like they use fancy words like development and and it's our priority. No, you're talking about results. That's why people are leaving the game. Um, you pay for information, and that information is different sequence of things within the game, within soccer. And the brain can only, <laughs> the brain can only take so much. This is a game of um less consciousness it's a game of decision making that's why we create so much uh, problem solving methods within the practice so that they able um, they able to to perceive more the actions they will see in games that they are able uh, to work on uh, on what you call they able to work more with uh, it's more automatic. Yes. Because you, you cannot use your conscious brain. The game is too fast for that. So that process, you know, by by giving these sequence of things, these different things, and how you periodize it with uh, through your curriculum and everything, um, it helps them to to gain knowledge. And and the knowledge there is the ability to internalize the to make it your own. You've done it so many times. And I oftentimes use it like, you know, when you're a child, your mom or your dad, they took you to they take you to the bathroom and they they teach you how to use your your, your toothbrush. And you get to realize the moment you get up, you go straight, you go straight to the bathroom. And from constantly practicing till to this age, you're 40, you're 50, something about you tells you that you need to go in the, you need to go to the sink and take care of that business before you do anything before you even whisper any words to anyone <laughs> you need to you need to handle that because if you don't handle that then it creates yeah. uh, it creates it <laughs> makes you feel like you had bitters like you know when you you know, you know when you taste bitters for the first time how you make your face it quickly, it quickly <laughs> reminds you that you need to return to the place that you were taught uh, to, 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 to deal with as, as the first thing you do in the morning when you get up. And it's the same thing with soccer. When you, when you deny the process, you deny uh, the, the child's ability to move from information to knowledge. And then we talk about... Um, the action, the final, uh, the final component, which is that unconscious competence uh, we that I spoke about just now. So, when we go straight to development, we we neglect or we neglect the uh, this process. They want to go from starting to actions immediately. <laughs> they want to go from starting something that is new. To unconscious competence. How mm -hmm. how does that work? 
like it takes years and it takes time and it takes commitment to be able to do something with autonomy and but parents pay and they say they want development they don't want the process and i can't tell you mm-hmm. how many times it creates uh, this dysfunction within not just the not not uh, not just within the family but within the child because you are you are literally paying for something that is not real that is not real by its initial stage you can't pay and your first conversation is development development is the result i would like to hear uh, like to hear questions or or comments or you know feedback on this on on on, on this topic because you know people use words loosely they, you know one situation um said i'm i'm not seeing no development do you know what it looks like sir <laughs> do you know what development looks like ma'am have they gone through the process do you know their ages and stages um and what they need to be doing there what is their maturation level they have 8 year olds who behave like 12 year olds they have no accountability they have no mm-hmm. responsibility they don't they, they 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 if they if they if they lose a tire on the road they can't even fix it they don't know nothing you tell them to 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 sweep out <laughs> what you guys say here to to give them a broom and tell them to clean they they don't know what to do they don't you but you talk about development you 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 don't understand the expectation of the position you don't even know what a game model is but you your eye test is based on a result which impedes the process of your child really and truly living out um they gift them they gift them because you want to believe that you understand what it needs to look like what you want what to is- see is what you want to see which is results but you cannot have the results yes. without the process talk 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 to me there It's a lot to it's a lot to go wrong. So hopefully uh, we get we 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 get some people jumping in here and sharing um, their experiences and and what what their thoughts are on on this on this thing about we need development and we would like to see development, but nobody speaks about um, about the process, information, knowledge, actions, you know. from our perspective uh, that is the process to get to um, the results and that and the results comes based on not just hard work but hard work uh, through overcoming every other thing that will happen um, during this process and you know before you jump in there a lot of times you see you got to work hard but working hard don't necessarily you know give you what you need when you have a passion and you have a desire um and you have a gift to do something you have to spend a lot of time in dark places questioning should i do this is it making any sense i'm i'm not good enough somebody tell you you're not good enough they drop you they you, you go to a trial process with 20 kids and you don't even get seen but you have this desire so you're saying work hard work hard work hard is like throwing water on duck back you know you could throw much water the duck would never get wet so like people just like to use words oh work hard no is this process allow you to learn to overcome learn you um encourage you to uh, keep pushing beyond the negativities the 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 labels the um the implicit biasness in people and and all of these things the that will come your way based on way based on what side of the fence you're standing on by the way um but it's not just hard work go go ahead i got um i got some uh, what's the name i got some questions some people sent me so i'll, I'll read it to you yeah. after i i give them. so yeah. i believe i believe a lot of parents 
and because mm-hmm. we see it all the time, everybody is saying the same thing, Kyle. Everybody's talking about development. Besides KMSA, and this is this is the honest truth. People can say we can say whatever because we we are KMSA. Besides KMSA, we actually explain to you what that process of development is. Everybody just talks. They say development, development, development. So when people see people training, when parents see people training two days a week, they play tournaments, they some win games. They see that as that is the process. They see that as that's the process, guys. Two days of training, tournaments. Um, um, you come whenever you show up. You'll still play 50 minutes, 50, 50 percent of the time. That's the process. So when we come to camp and say, wait, what do we got to do all this for? Because everybody ain't doing none of that. So, so, so you're telling me that we can move from information to actions right away. Because information is just sequence of things. It's just different things that your brain can, your working memory um, gets full. Because you cannot use your conscious brain to pray. Everything is happening in split seconds. You're moving from one moment to the game to a next moment in the game, sometime in split seconds. And you have to, you have to try, your brain have to transfer information quickly. Let's say you're in, a, you're, you're in an attacking moment and you lose the ball. Immediately, your brain have to go into the principles of defending. And the moment your brain goes into that principle of defending, your teammate win the ball back immediately. Your brain have to, there's no, there's no, there's no time there <laughs> to consciously think about what you're doing. So if you want to move from information to action, then you're not helping no one. You are actually wasting resources. Some people um, I've been in clubs for five years, three thousand mm-hmm. dollars, and in five years they spend fifteen. Now they move from one club and go to the next club, and they go to five different clubs in five years. You're still spending fifteen thousand dollars for what? Absolutely nothing because you're chasing development, you're chasing results, you're not chasing the process, the information process. Is what starts is, is, is what starts you off. Is is like the foundation. It's like the foundation of the house. And once you 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 get to knowledge, you start you start encoding and downloading the perception that is needed. The perception that is needed. And the more you encode, you encode this information and it becomes knowledge where you internalize it, you develop more perception. And perception is what allows you um, to have more effective actions. Not perfect actions, but more effective actions. So that is what you actually, that's what you should actually be paying for. You're paying so that the, the child can 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 use those receptors in their brain to encode and download more, more um, problem solving, more more perceptions about the game so it raises their their perceptual awareness and their visual recognition so that they're able to think ahead of time based on what they're seeing on the field that process is so long because you have to rewire your brain think about a child have not done nothing from youth nines to youth 15s they will have to regress because everything they're learning is new so when when like for instance when a when a child goes into a professional academy a real professional academy or a professional training program and they they came from a travel team per se no punt intended but if you're training 2 days a week or training 3 days a week there's absolutely no way you can talk about your developing much less to talk about development so Bless, blessing, Marshall. Good to see you. Continue to share the life. So, if you, if you, if you don't give yourself the, the time and the chance to go through this process, then you miss the opportunity where you don't allow the child to regress. 
because that re that regression is 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 ultimately establishing progression. So when a child comes into something new that they have never done before, they will regress because they have to change everything they were doing that up to this point have not got them anywhere. You got six innocent euro players that will come to you and you will say, what is the first principle of defending? And they don't know. You have 16 year old players don't know what is a two or a three or a six. And there's a reason why they give them numbers because there, there's a profile that comes with that number. So you can't say you can't say you're five, but you can't defend nobody. You can't defend nobody. But you're good <laughs> at taking players on 1v1. But because you're big and tall and strong and can run. Somebody tell you to go play defense because they like big and tall and strong people. But the characteristics of that position, you don't have none. So you go to the child and you fail miserable, not because you don't have the talent or the ability, but because people are so result-oriented, they, um, they don't allow you uh, to develop. The the process has become meaningful to people award, um, and you know <laughs> the players have to make decisions off of their working memory, and it's not happening. We got something here. How does a young yeah, okay, yeah. how does a young athlete know they are in the right environment? Uh, that's a tough question. I think. The right environment uh, must first uh, speak to what is it you are trying um, to accomplish as an athlete. That, that must be clear. What is it you want to do? Because more times than not, you are asking that person to influence what you want. They cannot give it to you. They can only influence it. So if an environment is making more about themselves than more about you, then that is not an environment for developing you into a good player. The, 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 the environment is there to influence, to impact, to guide you based on what you desire uh, to accomplish. So if you... If you want to play soccer at a high level, you have to be clear. And then you have to listen to the things that makes you uncomfortable. Like you have to train for 13 hours. You have to train for 13 hours a week. You have to be in the gym. You have to have a nutritionist. You might need a performance um, psychologists to optimize your performances you might need uh, you, you might need to um, you might need to learn more raise your game intelligence your game IQ you can't always do that on the field sometimes you have to itemize these things but it needs to be connected so it all feel like one thing when you conceptualize because that is what you're actually doing. You're downloading more perception. But perception, like everything that's supposed to be good, we find a way to make it bad. So perception is more about lies in the information stage. So I create this perception in your mind of what I will give you, but I don't create the perception of the game that should be encoded to give you these, these actions that is, with, uh, that is unconscious. So they they so they flipping everything, the everything that's supposed to be good, they are flipping it to bad. So yeah. if you want to know first. that you're in a good environment, first of all, that environment must demand more of you in terms of time that you give, because the repetition is what is enabling you to encode more uh, more perception for your actions on the field. 
So in, in, in I hope hopefully I was able to able to answer that question. But yeah, overall, um, in, in terms of people denying the process and and just want the results, and then they come to the side of the field and they throwing chairs and throwing tantrums like little little kids mm -hmm. when they don't see what they want because oh I paid three thousand dollars and how come my child can't do this and child can't do that because you can't mm -hmm. do it either. What about that? You can't do it either. So if you can't do it, what do you? How do you know what it looks like? You know, you probably can take it personal, but maybe you should, because you don't. You're not helping your athlete. You're just impeding the process, because your your investment. You think this is a grocery store where you just go pick up. You pick up skills, or you just pick up things. You you pick up dribble. You go you go at the, at the grocery store and say, "Um, could I have could I have two pounds of dribbling, please? Could, 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 I, could I have six pounds of six pounds of first touch? You can't you can't go at the grocery store and pick it up. You can't go in. You can't you can't come on the field with a with a with a cart, a grocery cart, and just start throwing in heading, throwing in shooting, throwing in dribble, and then drive it and carry it to them and say, "Look, I've bought you dribble. Go go now. Go use it. It's not a video game. Oh you can't God. you can't buy these things." So yes, you on the side of the field throwing tantrums and always throwing your money card up in the air about about why you here or why you're not there. Um, you 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 are part. You are part. Unfortunately, you are part of the problem. You are part of the problem. Nobody is saying that you have to pay, but you have to invest in yourself either way. <laughs> Everybody have to invest in themselves if they want to grow. That's that's the that's the that's the reality of things. You have to invest in yourself. You gotta invest yourself in time. You can either invest in yourself by with your resources, or you're not gonna invest in yourself and you're gonna be wherever you're gonna be. Yes, or all. <laughs> all right, I got a um I got a question. Um somebody said if there's <laughs> in there, there are many clubs. That promise the same development. They put quotation marks on the development. It said, "What makes our program any different?" And it's from Michael Michael Silva. So we we always gonna be we always gonna be different, never better. Um, like I said, uh, people use words loosely. We provide development. They're saying we provide results, and automatically you. Who who are listening to that? Who don't understand? You your eyes want to see something that is good. Your eyes don't want. Your eyes would never understand the process, because it's like you have you have like in the in 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 the in the calf muscle you have the gastrocnemius and you have the soleus and then you have the and then you have the plantar flexor so you could only see the gastrocnemius you can't see the soleus but all of those muscles are playing a part in you having a strong calf muscle so when you talk about development when 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 you go to clubs and they say, "Well, we have development, but you don't understand the process," then you believe that two days will facilitate that process. Mm -hmm. It's 168 hours in a week, and you only doing four hours. <laughs> what what is it you will encode? What makes us different is we make everybody uncomfortable when it comes to development. Because we're not going to tell you where your child is going to be. We will tell you the process that can help them, that could give them a chance to be there. None of us don't know if we're going to hell or we're going to heaven, but we know there's a process. <laughs> We know there's a process. And That's some people don't That's believe in the process. Some people say, well, I do this, I go into heaven anyway. Some people say, if you do this, you're going to a rotten hell. It's your choice. But the truth mm -hmm. will stand. So what makes us different is we make sure that you 
are embracing the process, not from just our perspective, but the matrix of the game. The, the quality programs are saying you need to put in these hours because, and you have to believe them because you are the one who pay for ESPN and Fox Sports and you can't wait to get your nice little champagne to sit down in front of the TV on Sunday and sometimes even bet your hard-earned money because you believe that is attractive football or attractive soccer. So we can't, we can't be attracted by this greatness. We can't want to have all of the, the, the autograph and we can't wait to go see the club and post it on Instagram and, and Twitter mm -hmm. and then don't want to respect the process here. So mm -hmm. we are different because we make every single person uncomfortable because they don't want to invest in the process, but they want results. We cannot tell you you're going to be good. We are not God. We can't turn water into wine. But we have a responsibility to make sure that you are aligned with the process, not aligned with us. You are aligned with the process. Our job is to facilitate. There's too many coaches who want to tell the kids they're in the presence of greatness. <laughs> I'm back. They don't did stream. I don't want this message to go to. <laughs> I, I don't know. It's like it's like you say something and just cut off. <laughs> I'm about to go over here. What is this? This message will go out anywhere. Uh, <laughs> they have to get the process. They have to align with the process, and that what makes us different. We we don't compromise the process. You have to train at least 13 hours a week. You have to you have to take care of your nutrition. You have to be developing yourself physically. You have to be developing yourself psychologically. You have to have game intelligence. And you must be technically proficient. And that don't come with doing four hours. It's 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 unheard of. No, no, not a not a if you somebody could prove to me that that has worked, then then we then we, we have to change our mind. I got one for you. I got one for you, coach. I think you'll like this one. You have right. any more questions there? Or my what? Yeah. My child my child is seven years old. I've been to three clubs in the past two years. I don't know much about soccer, but I am nervous to invest in another club. And I believe this is why I'm still here. What should I be looking for to help my child? It's a good question. You said that in seven years, and this <laughs> I can't tell you how many parents share that same sentiment. Like, I'm not making no investment, and people will not make good investment because they lack knowledge. Um, and if you lack knowledge, obviously you will make poor decision. Um, for the lack of knowledge, man will perish. And, and can't tell you how many people uh, make that same mistake. First off, we, we have to ask good questions. And, 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 and good questions is not just, not just, not just hearing, listening, uh, not just going on Google and finding teams. Maybe that's where the process starts. But understand what is it you, what is it you, you want um, your child to achieve? What is it the child wants to achieve? And at, a, at seven years old, a child, um, they, they're just curious. They're, they're excited about playing the game. Um, they are this, they are this, at this stage where they're so innocent and they are the ones that are destroyed the most because they believe whatever is being said or being done is gospel. They're telling them that they're good at this age. They're telling them that, you know, you could have 20 players with 
with one coach at this age. They're telling them that, you know, we don't need to put the best coach down there. He needs to be up with the bigger players and the bigger boys when this is where it starts. So they put the, the coach with the less experience, with the less, um, with the less um, knowledge in terms of coaching and guiding um, down there. So now you don't know the right questions. You don't, like you said, you don't have a clue about soccer. You will make a decision based on what some other family is saying. Oh, there's a nice program. The coach is very nice. He, he communicates well and, and you follow that. It's important to sit down with the organization. That's the first thing you need to do, to know that this is something you want to invest in. You need to sit down with the organization. They need to show you the developmental model. If, if coaches and organization are refusing, it's because they don't want you to hold them accountable for what they're, what, what they're saying. And too many parents make that mistake. They just come and they, the training look energetic and they look intense, but no learning is taking place because you can't measure nothing. You don't know what to measure. You're only looking with your eye tests. And your eye test is just is just as good as mine in the lights when I am when I'm not wearing my glasses. So you need to sit with the organization, have a clear understanding of where your child is, where your child is, the stages and the, and 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 how they will progress, and clearly identify and outline the benchmarks to, to clear out, identify um, some of the things that they will, will be focusing on so that you can really measure progress. You don't, you just can't, just can't drop your kids off and say, well, they're in a good program. You don't even know what that means. So I will, I will encourage you to really sit down and, and truly understand if this is something you want to invest in, to understand how much your child really loved the sport. And then you've got to sit down with, with set clubs, set programs, and have them outline this process to you. What ages and stages my child is at? What, what my child would be doing on a daily basis? How do you measure this? Where is the data to prove what you're saying? You need to hold them accountable. And let's see how it works. No one might be spilling some bees and putting some people under pressure. All, but what is the, what are these evaluations? Where is the measurement? Where were the benchmark before you started the evaluation? What what the child needed to look like at the end in the three months. How are you providing evaluation when the parents never knew what the child needed to look like after three months? Because you know you're lying. You can't tell them that. Mm -hmm. Because in three months, you're not supposed to be seeing, hmm. You're not supposed to be seeing, hmm. <laughs> you understand? <laughs> because you're doing passing one week, dribbling the next week, shooting the next week, and then playing games every week. Shoot it. And then you have an evaluation to tell the child, oh, you need to work harder on your first touch. What were you doing in the whole three months of the child's first touch? <laughs> so <laughs> that's where it starts. If you want to know, uh, and then the final part of that is, if it don't make you uncomfortable and take you out of your convenience and comfort zone, that might not be the place that will develop your child. If it's only about your convenience, then it's not about the child's growth. If it's not about what makes you feel good, obviously shed the schedule and all these things need to need to work because you have working people and and you have to provide. But if it's if it's only about your convenience, well, I don't want to train that time because I gotta go to the spa or I got listen, you don't want no development for your child. You just want your child to participate in something. Right. So exactly. development or the, 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 the developmental process, let me fix that. You need to be hands-on 
and understand what that looks like. And with your intelligent mind, you can make sense of it. Because now the coach have to present the progress report with objective data. Not talking and singing nice and articulating themselves well. That is, yeah, you know, speaking of okay, complicated you were, and the grammar is in place and they could dub the eyes and, and all manner of things, but have no, have nothing towards it. All is, all it is is talk. So hopefully I was able to answer your question. Yeah. You could go back and listen okay. to it again you have, if, you, if, if, the, if you had, if you didn't have any clarity there. Yeah, well, we got a couple okay, more questions. I have, yeah. Yeah, I got I got one more. Um, I've been in two well-known clubs in New Jersey. And uh, the coach, I still don't feel like I'm getting better. The coach told me I still need to work on certain things. And he told me the best would be to do individual training. I asked my parents, mm -hmm. which your parents are willing to invest, but we don't know where to go. If, if my coach should be the one developing me, um, why do I need to pay for another trainer? Well, first of all, because you're not training enough days. That's first of all. Because most clubs do what? Train what? Three days? And once you start playing amazing. games on Sunday or Saturdays, then you actually, eh, you're not training no days. Um, because um, it, it's, it bothers me when people say they're part of a team when, excuse me, a team got like 12, 15 players and you could never have 15 players at every session. <laughs> and and, and, and yeah. SAC is about this flow, it's about this connection, it's about this this oneness under the game model. So you 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 have if you want to say you're part of a team, you have to be training like a professional. You you have to be training consistent for that to grow. This is why we don't we don't have a team. This is why we never want a team. Because if you're gonna be a team, you have to every single person have to train every single day or every time there's training. Unless you're sick or something. And even when you're sick, if you can walk, you need to be out there. If you if your foot in a boot, you need to have your you need to have your crutches, you need to be out there. You need to be connected at all times. Because I can't tell you enough how. In a team, players can make you better or can make you worse. Because if you are not there enough to understand uh, simple terminologies and, and, and don't understand that, then certain words, when I hear it and when a wall hear it, it have different actions because we're not really familiar, because we don't be there consistent. So the reason why the coach can say that to you because they're not doing enough hours within training. And obviously, if the club was to say we need to train five days a week, you know everybody will leave the club. They will leave the program and they go look for somewhere else that training three days a week. So you, you are in a, a, a dilemma. Now, if the coach is sending you to in another coach, then if that coach is not consistent with the game model of the coach that you're leaving, then now your brain, now the milkshake in your brain. Because simple things like pass it to the open up um, side on, and then somebody says, open up your body to see the entire field. And then somebody said, um, what was the next one? Side on. Um, uh, there's, there's so much, there's so much terminology on, there. Yeah. You know, like a coach will tell you, you know, you don't always, you know, there's there's a reason for for your body position in a certain way. It it could be side on, it could be positioned to see the entire field based on where the ball is. These simple things, just going to another coach, can conflict with your coach. So now you go back to your coach. And you believe what this other coach is saying is working for you. Now the coach says you have to sit on the bench because you're not paying attention. You're not listening mm -hmm. to what I'm saying. So you're in a dilemma here. First, I will say to you what I've said to, to, the, to the last question. You need to take a couple steps back. Truly understand what is it you're trying to achieve in the game. 
understand it's a meaningful and you have to make a meaningful investment because it's a process it, it, it's not going to happen because you want it to happen or when you want it to happen. You have to have the, de the desire. You have to immerse yourself. You have to be intentional. You have to, you have to live the life. You have to have this character. You have to have certain principles that actually form your character that establish a certain behavior that is consistent with what you desire before, before, you can truly measure your progression. So you need to take a couple of steps back. Reconnect with your goals and aspirations. Know truly if it's, this, is, this is what you want to do. Sit down with a professional, with a coach that has the credentials, that understand the task of a coach. And now let them show you how they will move you from where you are to where you need to be. And then now you have to make a decision if you want to invest in that or not. But if you don't invest in that, then you're going right back to the same thing, just a different environment. How is it you want to change, but you constantly, you consistently do the same things, just a little bit different <laughs> or just a different uniform but it's the same mm -hmm. thing if you if you have been reflecting, if you actually do reflections, you will realize you were doing the same thing all this time, and you are the same position. But then you come to uh, you, then you come to a place like here, and you want to do the same thing but want a different result. Results. That is insanity. <laughs> I can't tell you now. I thought that was insane. But somebody will come to you and say they want something different and then say, well, but nobody else does that. So do you really want something? Oh, I listen to the statement. Oh, listen, right? Because I want to be better. But then you're given something different. And then they will say, well, where I was, we weren't doing all of this. So then why are you asking for something different, something better? When you want the same thing, you will get it all the time. I don't know. I, I, I don't know, sir. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe, maybe some intellectual minds could help me to understand yeah, this, but, yeah. this approach. You don't, you've never tried this. But you already know you want it to look like what you've been doing all the time. But then you ask for development. You ask for results. I, I don't know. I don't know. It, it, sometimes when you are uncomfortable and you lack knowledge, you become very vulnerable. And, I, I, and, and people, when they're in that state, um, Mm -hmm. they, they become very defensive and they become very, um, they dismiss you quickly because they don't understand. And because they said Peter pay for Paul and Paul pay for all, right? So nothing is really happening on a large scale. So it makes it difficult when you challenge, you challenge the people and you challenge their pockets when it comes to this process. You know, that is the truth yes. of the matter. Go ahead. Yes. <laughs> that is that, that is the truth of the matter. Because somebody, last question, last question for you. And yeah, it probably ties into yeah. what you, yeah, it probably ties into what you said. So somebody just said that, I, I believe I've been in New Jersey for some time and I haven't really seen anything. Do you believe coming out of New Jersey is the best? Or do you believe that just I need to find somewhere, if it's your program, that shows us what is the right process? Listen, to be honest, um, being at ODP um, now, New Jersey full of talent, like everywhere. They're talented kids. I've gone, I've seen talented kids at REC. <laughs> I've seen talented kids in travel programs like 
it's just like something, and I have to blame the parents for this because they're not demanding more because they don't want to invest more. But yet they want the result of the thing. There's so much talent here. I just feel like you have to, you, it, it's, it's a hard task, but you have to find people that will make you uncomfortable. That you have to find people that will demand more of you. You have to find people that will put you in positions where you have to grow. You have to learn. You have to enjoy the struggles of becoming a better athlete, to becoming a better person. And it's limited because it's a torn off appearance, to be, to be fair. The demand to play the game at the higher level, it's a torn off appearance. Because they will walk down the road and it will be just comfortable. Two days I got to drive. That's fantastic for me. <laughs> I just have to drive 10 minutes. Oh, that's great. There's, there's no way I'm driving. There's no way I'm driving half an hour to, for, 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 for you to train. Who is So what are you talking about development for your child for? Because obviously it's all about you and what you want to do. And I get it. You, you come home from work, you don't you don't want to drive. That is okay. But that don't mean you must demean the process of development. Yes, you know I'm saying oh, well, not because you can't do it, yeah. you must diminish it. You must talk about it like if it don't make sense. You must talk to it like if every soccer coach and soccer is just a a, 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 a sport with a chicken without no head. It's, 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 it's very much it, it, it's very much offensive because this game, you know, school got nothing on this game. School got nothing on this game. So if you you young athlete who believe you need to move out of here uh, to get the coaching and to get the development you need, maybe maybe you need to. Because maybe you just might need to separate yourself from the surroundings you are in so that you can actually grow. Mm -hmm. But there's mm -hmm. so much talent here that begging uh, to give the national team coaches more headache, to give the Division I schools more headache, to give overseas academies more problems. But it's underutilized because part People are, some people are lazy, to be honest. They don't want to do the work because it's too much because they get a full-time job on the side. Or the other side of it is parents believe the process is too much without a real ending in mind. So you have this dilemma. But it don't, it don't mean you have to diminish the process just because it don't fit your convenience or just because you think it's too expensive. If that's okay, it's your choice. You don't, you don't have to invest in your child. Like you don't have to, you don't have to pay all that money, but guess what? You've been paying it for five years and then you're still talking mm -hmm. about my child can't receive a ball that come in at 50 miles per hour from 20 yards away. Your child can't use their left foot and they've been playing soccer for six years. They can't juggle yes. too. So what are we what are we talking about? Money cannot buy you development. It buys you the Not it all. provides you the opportunity to be aligned with the process. Trust the money that you're given. It's affording them the process to live out their purpose. You might just have kids that would take care of you in your old age. You might just have them. <laughs> you just might. If you make the investment in them now, 
within the right environment, within the right community. And I keep saying right. And the right community and environment is what allowed the child to be aligned with the process. And the process is moving you from where you are to where you need to be. That is a journey for the participant and the process. The job of the people around them is to facilitate that and have benchmarks and measure it and have objective data to prove that this is happening, not an evaluation sheet with words telling them that you didn't, you didn't, how much time the child passed the ball in a game? You can't tell me. So how are you, how are you saying I need to pass it better? If you could tell me yeah. they passed the ball 50 times, but to do that, then the players have to pay more because the coaches got to pay their bills and they can't do it with one team, right? Because they're getting $30 an hour because, you know, everybody upstairs have to make more. So the coach now have to do three teams or probably four so that he could cover all the bills. So if you got to do four teams with 15 players per team, when is he going to get to your child to tell your child how many passes they had in this month? That was accurate and inaccurate. How, how are they going to do it at all? Gee. How how are they doing it to your four teams? So what development are you talking about? Go ahead. Go ahead. They, they can't. They, <laughs> what? They can't. They can't, Kyle, because we got the, I got the younger kids that is it's not it's not easy, Kyle. It's not easy with 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 six seven players to, to give them objective data and to show them where they where they were and where they where they're heading. Boy, hours in the office, Kyle. Hours with, in the office. How are you, There's no how way are you doing it with three, four teams where you seen them two days per week. This I'm is not, madness. I'm not, I'm not doing it. I'm Go not ahead. doing it. I'm not doing it. There's no way. I, I can't do it. I, I don't have time. I don't have, I don't have time to do it. I don't have time. So here's the funny part, right? No. As we as we bring this show to a close, um, thanks for the questions. First of all, thanks for the questions. Uh, we need more questions to to challenge this thing we don't have we don't we don't claim to have the right answer but i feel there must be something said for genuineness there must be something um be said for integrity that you you always want to put the athletes first there's no way a coach could have three teams and at the ending of the season you're given an evaluation what are you evaluating this child on what you're going to evaluate them on 10 different things, passing, shooting, dribbling. How much time did you spend with those things in three months? Because you probably only have a one week of training and then you're right into games. So you're more in the implementation phase than the, than the developing phase. Because you just every week is a game or two. Then you go play a tournament with four games in two days. In two days. So the child never mm -hmm. getting a chance to really mm -hmm. orient and reorient these, these things that are needed for the process to move on. So how you end, how do you end up with an evaluation sheet at the ending of three months telling the child they can't pass the ball good? How many hours did you spend with passing? And where's the data to tell you that? So I went to a specific club, right? And they say after you get from one to five, you got to run the, the child from one to five. So I give everybody one. <laughs> based on the age and what the expectations are, I give everybody one. Why they won't kill me? They won't kill me. They say, I they tell me I'm a madman. But I say, well, how I'll give you a tree? How I'll give you? Well, a tree can make them feel comfortable and nice. No, you you are a one. You are a what? They tell me I'm a madman. I I mad. <laughs> but they they rather here they get it. They rather here they get a tree based on what? What are you getting this tree based on? No, so you feel good. So you come back, and and that is why there's no development. That is why there's there will never there will never be no development. That means there will never be no result that you're paying for.
because you are denying the process. Because the process, you have to go deep in your pockets. But I, like I said, it's your choice to go deep into your pockets. But you're not going to diminish the process because you don't want to do it. You're not going to diminish the process because you don't want to drive consistently to the field. You're not going to do that. It's your choice. You have a right to choose what you don't want to do. It's your money. It's your investment. It's you have to buy the gas. It's it's all yours, and you have the right to choose. But you you're not going to be able to diminish the process. You're not going to do that. Because this is what is going on in Jersey till the, the young players asking the question, will I have to leave this entire state to go and look for it somewhere else? Mm -hmm. Will I have to leave the country? Don't think you don't have to pay when you leave the country. You know, these, for, some, for some reason, mm -hmm. they think these development academies are free. Oh, you think? Okay. <laughs> you think? You're not a professional. You're not get. You're not getting those people energy. They're not, you're not getting those coaches energy for you just show up. And you're not a professional. No, you're gonna invest. Oh, you know the academy where you know that academy where where we down wherever it is. They know the cost for it, but they go in there by the droves, right? <sighs> and after a year, some of them yes. coming right back home. So, so, so for, in it. some, in some, in some respects, people understand certain things, but it comes down to who value, who they value, and what they value. Value. That's what it is. And I can't tell you enough coaches out there, an organization out there, they don't value you. They don't value what this process is about. So they diminish it, and now they want to hold everybody in one, put everybody in one barrel. And that is why no development will never happen here. There's no de nobody not developing. Show me, show me twenty young players who have gone to the to the youth national team. Yeah, show me. Show me all of this development and developer you're talking about. Show me. They know they're getting talented kids because guess what? We know talented kids like the status quo. So the talented mm -hmm. kids know exactly where to go. So why is it is this why is it uh is the the we're not seeing we're not seeing the process, we're not seeing this high level or this this a whole lot of kids moving on to, to, to the highest level? How many how many kids yeah. playing at the professional level that you could actually get a whole community going and watch that player? How many, how many? Where where are those where where are those days where are those days when when I was playing back home and I and, and I out a out a Linden town boy well everybody in Linden know well boy the national team coming here boy our community coming they coming to see a field too so what who cares they coming to see you <laughs> so they could talk bad about you but they coming they coming yeah they coming That's That's what what That's how what many communities could go and say boy this whole community going and watch this player because he was built in this community he was built he, he stayed in this in this town he, how many how many how many I want? tell me absolutely none no. talking about training no. two days a week and then oh well this coach this coach have an a license it don't matter if your coach have an a license if he training two days a week is because he's 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 working with your convenience <laughs> and he would smile in your face and tell you you're such an awesome parent. Brother. And then you would take your child back there for five years. Mm -hmm. And then six <laughs> years, you realize she can't or he can't use the left foot. Or they don't know what it is, how to defend, how to even stand, how even the, where to even put your feet to defend. <laughs> so, so come on. What are we talking about? Uh, but I need to see more people. Uh, I really appreciate those questions, and hopefully, we got more people that want to interact and and let us help our young people. This is the ultimate goal here. 
is to help our young ones to be better. We we went far and far over our time, but guess what? You, they, so they can go listen back to it in, in different segments. <laughs> They can so, listen to 10 minutes and take a break and then listen to another 10 minutes and take a break if it's too long. You know, people like to say we got monologues. So, boy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We got monologues. But we don't get enough time and enough space, you know. So when we get the little thing, oh, well, we have to use up the thing. Good talk. <laughs> Good talk. Ne- nevertheless, uh, thanks for being with us on the Coach Kayo Show. Uh, we appreciate all the questions. We appreciate uh, those who have stay with us throughout this process. And hopefully we were able to uh, impact uh, the lives of our young people, even your life, to make better decisions, um, to, 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 to at least think about it um, so that you, that, that you can have a different perspective in how you move forward with your young athlete, with your um, your middle-aged athlete, with your adult athlete, how you can uh, how you can add something to their lives now and build a better relationship, so that, like I said, they will want to take care of you in your old age. <laughs> um, so, thank you again. Stay blessed. Stay safe. See you back here next Monday. Um, continue to continue to work hard. Continue to be dedicated. Be intentional. Our, our information is running along the screen. Um, you can always reach out. Whatever whatever you need, whatever resource we can give that could add value to you. Be sure to reach out. Feel free to reach out. God bless, and and, and enjoy the rest of your week. A wide variety of episodes are already available, chock full of incredible insight from two qualified experienced coaches. Here are some previews of eye-opening quotes. Lots of players think they need to drive an hour or two hours to get good training. Because community clubs do not feel, most of them, if not all of them, don't feel the responsibility to provide every child the best opportunity. This is for players to have fun, so why not name it Rec? An elite league shouldn't be based on teams. It should be based on the coaching. There's no integrity in the game. It's all about business. It's it, That's all it is. There's nothing about soccer first. Everything is about giving the athletes an experience. We hope you are available to tune in. New episodes every Monday night.